Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to discuss the new disk bound system that I'm working with for my art journals and I'll show you how to create a custom sized one. Of course, I still work on my books, so I usually uh, work on a moleskin. Uh, this is uh, one of the large sketchbook moleskins, but I always have the restriction of having the spine in the middle. And there are techniques that I usually avoid doing on a book such as applying too much water or playing with my sprays. Not that you can't do it, you can, of course you can, but um, I'm always afraid that I might ruin the rest of the layouts. I'm also working uh, usually on my Dilusions art journal, which I absolutely love. This paper is perfect. It takes any type of uh, acrylic paint beautifully, as well as the sprays, of course. And um, lately I have been working on a disc-bounded system that uh, I got from Joggles. So you see there are these discs and um, I can take off the pages easily, do whatever I want on them and then put everything back together. Now in this particular journal I work only on one page but of course you can have a two page spread. In this case I would take out both pages, secure them at the back with some masking tape so that I have one continuous page, work on it and then I can put everything back together on my discs. In this system there are many advantages, for example you can do techniques you can't do on a book such as play on top of a jelly plate, you can apply as much ink or water as you like uh, without being afraid that you will ruin the rest of the pages and um, plus you can um, add as much bulk as you like because these discs give you this ability. And finally it's great for beginners because if you don't like the page you just don't put it back at the book. And this is the punch that I have to create my own custom sized art journals. So this has nine holes and uh, it is actually by me and my big ideas from the uh, Happy Planner collection. Now this uh, punch is actually on sale right now so maybe you want to check it out. You will find links down below to this punch as well as to other options. For example, We Are Memory Keepers has one and there are many other in, in the market. I'm just showing you the one that I have at home and I know that it works. Now, you can play with this punch and uh, work with any paper that you like. For example, I know I would love to make an art journal that could use this mixed media paper by uh, Ranger and today I'm going to work with watercolor paper. This is by Winsor & Newton and it's their cold pressed paper. It is 140 pounds which means that it's quite heavy and I'm going to create an 8x8 art journal just because I want to work on this size. I love square journals and um, I don't have one. The art journal that I'm currently working with discs is uh, 6x6 and I want to have a slightly larger one. Now, of course, if you don't want to do all this job by cutting out all the pages and then putting everything together, punch all the holes and put everything together, then of course you can get these um, ready-made. They are really inexpensive and I get these from Joggles. And I'm going to link you down below to different sizes that they offer. But I wanted to show you that you can uh, be creative and you can create any size of um, art journal that you like with this system. So I am going to cut out a bunch of uh, these. I think I, I cut out 12 of those and they are all 8x8. Eight eight. And now of course I need to punch the holes and to use discs to put everything together. The large discs are by the Happy Planner system and um, I also love the smaller ones. These are by Joggles and you can get them separately. Of course, depending on the size of the discs that you use, you will be able to add more pages and also you will be able to add more bulk on your books. So what I love about the discs is that you can uh, be as uh, dimensional as you like. And of course, if you start with small discs and find that uh, your art journal gets too bulky, you can always switch to larger discs. And I really love this ability of interchanging things, moving uh, pages from one art journal and putting it on another. This system is full of advantages, I believe, and it gives you so much freedom. Now I'm going to punch the holes and I need to make sure that every hole is going to be at the same place for all the pages, which means that uh, when I stack them back together, they will be nicely aligned. Of course, you don't have to do that. I'm just kind of we are on this. So I'm going to put my page inside the punches, try to align them so they are at the middle. You can easily slide your paper underneath as you can see. 
And uh, once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to mark the site with washi tape. This is going to make sure that every time I place the next page inside the punch, I will place it at the exact same point. This punch was designed to punch out uh, thin paper for planners and it has actually has a, a maximum of three papers at one time that you can punch. But as you can see, I have absolutely no problem on punching those thick pages. These are 140 pounds, but of course I'm punching one at a time. So you see, you do have the ability of creating your own art journal and um, decide what size you want to make them. You can buy the colors of the disc that you like and the size that you like. But it is time consuming and you do have to invest on the punch and buy the paper and buy the discs. If you don't want to get in all that trouble, I'm going to link you down below to different sizes of all these art journals that you can get and they are actually on uh, sale right now. And after punching all my pages, I placed them one on top of the other and I was really happy with the um, whole alignment. Everything matches perfectly. So I have a nicely aligned book. Now I'm going to use the discs and I decided to go with those um, blue ones with the heart. I think that's absolutely adorable. There are different uh, colors that you can get and different sizes. The discs that I'm using now are by the Happy Planner system and they are actually one inch and uh, three quarters. And uh, the other smaller ones that I have for my six by six uh, art journal are one inch. So it is really easy to put everything together. And here is my finished book with all my 12 pages. As you can see, I can be quite dimensional because I have enough space there and I can always add more pages as my work grows. I can also mix and match paper so I can add uh, different uh, types of paper uh, there or I can even add different sizes to make it look more interesting. And you can see here the difference in size on my two discs. So that's it for today. Down below you will find links to the discs, the watercolor paper I used and even the punch. And I'm also going to link you to other punches that are available in the market at the moment. You will also find links to art journals with discs that uh, are pre-made for you if you don't want to get in all this trouble. But if you are planning to make your own, leave me a comment below and let me know what size you are going for. I would really love to know. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm going to link you to a couple of videos here where I'm working on my 6x6 disc bound journal. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.